Uh, welcome back to the the Pops Half Beat Collection. Halloween 4545's Murder Fest. As a fan of YouTube Let's Play Halloween 4545 since he started back in 2008, I think he did anyway, I decided to take various memorable quotes from his videos to put them into a game tribute to him, intending to put in as many other references to his content as possible too, such as Mr. Satan the dog. Oh, and it looks kind of normal here. Uh, I didn't get much done, unfortunately. Does that look like Halloween? I don't know. I don't know what he's wearing. <gasps> Shotgun! Mr. Shotty, we are reunited, sir! We are reunited! Let us commit some murder together! Some glorious murder! That yeah, sounds like something he would say, probably because he did. Ooh! Excellent! Go! 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 Ooh! Didn't get much variety there. Bing. There you go, that's all I made. I didn't even send what was made to him, because there was no point. Oh no, it's a weird game. A quite fast paced, kinda arcadey game with many levels. Multiple episodes, each with their own gimmicks and boss. I intended to do more with it, but there's already more variety than most things I made back in those years. It's still bad now though, obviously. Also features faces! God, I hate this game. I mean, some of it's alright, but... Like, it's one of the... I don't know, I guess it was... BANG! HOLY SHIT! <laughs> I guess it was probably one of my more proud creations back in the day. But, um, no, not anymore. But yeah, there were gonna be different game modes. There's action mode, which is all that's in here. And there, but there was gonna be, like, a maze mode, which you saw at the bottom, and whatever the middle one was, I don't remember. Yeah. Four episodes, episode one. Let's turn it down. Fat head strikes town. Sizzlehoffer used to flash a lot more rapidly. I changed that for obvious reasons. Especially later when he's bigger. Spoilers. Right, yeah, here we go. What a fun game. It's very fast. Okay, you got stuck in a good pattern. No, you didn't. I was turning the volume down, you arsehole. Oh. There you go, you have to get so, to a certain amount of score. It's the same, but there's two of them now. You don't even have to shoot the other one. So it can stay easy. Episode 1 is very basic. It's just introducing things, basically. Yep. The same, but now he loops. There we go. The same, but now there's two of them looping. There we go. The same, but now he speeds up and slows down. There we go. What now? Oh. The same, but changes direction randomly. Don't worry, there is more variety later. And now... Oh, no, now it's two that change speed. Change direction, I mean. Survive. There's quite a few survive levels. You can't shoot, you just have to avoid them. Oh, here's probably the um, worst selection of levels as well. Depends how okay they are now that I slowed things down. In this one, this used to be glitchy, like the eyes would change positions because they weren't rotating around the right centre. Oh! If you hit anything, you're basically dead because of bounce. You're made of rubber. But yeah, so like, when the eyes are looking in certain directions, they're like, shifted slightly so you could get stuck inside the eyes and then just die. Yeah, in these, the enemy faces used to be faster. I think the blocks used to be faster as well, and they used to be separated a bit more. Can you imagine? No. Try not to. I don't know. I was sadistic as a kid. I guess. That would ex oh! <laughs> These used to be faster as well. I think they used to be bigger. And the face used to be faster. How would it be possible? I don't know. You also used to have to survive for a lot longer. Ow, that wasn't very fair, was it? Oh, okay, the block is stuck going in an easy position. 
I mean direction. Oh, okay, it can change. It's all right though. I think that used to, yeah, it used to go a lot faster. Uh oh, boss, fat head. He's not striking town very much, is he? We can shoot the mines to do some damage for some reason. Ow. Or just shoot him. It's just all about learning his pattern. There you go. He's dead now. Uh, the sound of death. Go on, Boxface, whatever your name is. I don't think he has a name. Ah, Sizzlehoffer time. The best episode, is it? I don't know. No, it isn't. It's got Rise of the Triad music, though. So it's got that, at least. Same again, but to the right this time. Yep. I also did, like, a, a different... Oh, this time you got to direct their shots into him. I did a different version of this game where your shots would always be homing on the enemies, which was a lot more fun. But no. Let's have the proper game in this version, please, in this collection. This is just a lot of... Keep going until you get lucky. Can you imagine if they were flashing once every, like, tenth of a second? That's what it was like. How would that be for your eyes? Yeah, don't worry about touching him, by the way, as you've probably noticed. Come on. Come on. Cheers. Cheers. Survive! You have to move slightly to the left, because if you move straight up from the start, you just bonk into the wall. Exciting. Exciting, isn't it? Oh, pff, see? Look. Proof right there. Then I think that nudged me slightly to the left, so I could just keep holding up anyway. Gosh. Time reset. <laughs> oh. Bloody hell, bloody hell, bloody hell. I've never failed this so many times. Probably because I'm talking and fudging up the timing. Almost done. Godge! Now we've got platforming, so it's just like any other game that I made. Ert. Thought I might as well show it, because I'm never going to fall in water again. No, there was no point showing it. Look how challenging this is. I just can't stay away from making platformers. Yeah. you got to shoot through. Oi. This is a long game. It's only the second game of the part. There's the switch from Bob Saver. Don't go under that little platform, by the way, or you'll get stuck and have to restart by pressing Q. Alright, look at this. Now this. This is level design. So let's do it again, shall we? But upside down this time. It's essentially the same. Except the one difficulty of this level is the shots appear at the bottom, but it's not difficult anyway. Oh my god. Now we're really mixing it up. Whoa! Yep. Bye. Homing shots. Why do they get homing shots, but I don't? It's not fair, because red faces are evil. Oh, 
Oh, move with the mouse suddenly. Don't add an achievement to beat this game without dying once, because you can't react in time to the changing of controls. I do apologise for the inconsistency with the controls in this game, but you know, had to make sacrifices. A very dodgy boss here. Because the timing goes whack. As in the timing gets naffed up. So he starts doing it more often. Ah, why did that go up? Arse. Because that happens too. Might be how close you are. Yeah. So you might as well just get close. No, don't, because then you might run into the beam. Uh. Oh! <laughs> Arson hole. I hate it. This game is naff. You can play it if you want, but you probably shouldn't. But you should if you want all the stars. Oh, I don't know where to... What do you do? What do you do, eh? I don't know. Probably stay on the right side. I guess. I can't beat my own game. Oh, great. Uh, how about that? Look, he's really naffing it up now. Okay. We had a moment where he stopped. We should have it this time. I've got the pattern. Even though I had the pattern a lot more when I was testing the game. But whatever, I guess. Fuck off. Okay. Bloody hell. Nerve-wracking, that is. <sighs> Ert, by the way. Right, off to... The zombie monster. Is that what zombie monsters do? Have a wobbly face? I guess so. Survive. Oh, starting off strong. More Rise of the Triad music. If you need more Rise of the Triad, just wait. More platforming. Yeah, I was really in on the platforming train. This used to be a lot more dodgy because these platforms had like sticks under them. So if you fall down onto a lower one, you'd get stuck inside the stick. Like that. Just hold the direction and jump, and you should relatively easily get across. Hey look, objects from a bat and ball game. Not mine, but they were like default assets that were included. I don't know why the end was there. Jump on these to start them moving. Go away zombie monsters. No, look at them all. It's a zombie horde. We at doors. Doors can kill. Be very careful. I hate this level. It's rubbish. Start as far to the right as possible so you can inch in. Fit in there. There you go. Done now basically one. You can go up or down. Doesn't matter. This level's rubbish as well, but luckily I've got a good pattern. They can bounce all around. Don't get shot immediately by the zombie monster himself. That was a short episode. I don't know why these are here. They don't even hit you. Yeah, you can either lead his shots into the red guy and that happens. 
you can shoot them back, or you can just shoot this. Just shoot the red face. Watch. Watch. Yeah. Ow! Don't get hit by the red face though. Rubbish when that happens. I don't know why there's a race car sound when he gets hit. Everything's going a lot worse when recording because of course. There we go. Why is it coming towards me? It's supposed to bounce away when I hit it. Like that. It's never gone this badly before. Probably because I'm going for greed strats. Somebody should speed run this game? No. There we go. Zombie monster is dead. Now. Oh, now we're going to the big man himself. Uh oh. It's Fasizoka. A combination of everything. Fa. Fat head. Si. Zolhofer. Zombie monster. Fa. Si. Zo. And cave. Ka. Yeah. He is a cave with a bunch of. Oh my god. The mustache. It's a general. General mustache. What is he saying? How look? Donald Duck. Easy peasy, he said at the end there. That describes this boss. Watch, he just goes around in a circle. Or a square, rather. Are you hearing the oof? Rise of the Triad. Do you want more Rise of the Triad? Well, you can have it in a sec. There you go. Have it. It wasn't supposed to turn out like this. Yeah. Uh, that was Rise of the Triad sounds. I was obsessed with that game back then. Congratulations! You've, you've killed Fasizoka. That means you've completed action mode. Cheers. Oh, it's a weird game. Indeed it was. Kamikaze 04. Did I read that? I did. AKA Kamikaze 04. I misspelled Kamikaze originally. Slightly inspired by the Comanche game series, this was to be a series of short missions in which you destroy or defend bases, maybe rescue people at some point. It was fun, but I didn't get much done before dropping it. Kamikaze Air Force Command. How generic can you get? You can't do any of these. Antarctica. The enemy forces are building huge bases in Antarctica and must be destroyed. Australia is under attack by enemy bombers and ground units with heavy artillery. Canada. Canadian su supply, supply ships are being attacked by opposing forces. Training. Training missions. Attempt some missions to help you get used to flying the military's Kamikaze 04. Even though these aren't training because you get shot down. Bloody hell. There's no sounds either. Yeah, any oh! Yeah, anyway. Yeah. No, that is not a swastika on those. Have a closer look. It's a little wub. It's like a sideways X. Don't worry. I'm not illegal. Is it illegal? I don't know. Whoa, dead. I was quite proud of the explosion effects in this. By the way, do you want to see missiles that go weird directions? Watch. Oh, oh, yeah, I guess so. Bomb. Bomb. Bomb, bomb, ba bomb, bomb. Oh, I ran out of bombs. What happens if you do run out of bombs and don't complete the mission? I don't know. Not a lot. 
Where's the star? Right there. The end. Night Cyberspace Adventure. This and the sequel were made in collaboration with a friend while at the training place where I made CV Project and Smoking Project. Mmm. Bit of tea. I brought the games factory with me and installed it on the computer to introduce him to it. He did most of the art, I made most of the gameplay. And it starts off with you having to bloody... God... If I did most of the gameplay, why did I let this slip? As in slide. On a banana peel! God. I guess I wasn't as bothered back then. Congratulations, Sir Knight. You can go to the next level. Believe me, it gets worse. I mean, believe me. It gets worse. Oh my god, it's... Whatever the fuck that is. Green slime ghost with blue hair. And a ghost friend dropping urns of ghost power. Oh! What? Why, what happened? Oh, I guess he dropped a, a ghost urn. Quickly kill it before that happens again. <coughs> Dead. Oops, I didn't read it. Said something about you found a secret realm. Even though it wasn't secret. Shoot the statue and the fish will die. You can't even die in this level. Cupid's bow found you now go to the next level and versus the next evil beast in this... in this... What the hell? Cupid's bow found you now go to the next level and versus the next evil beast in this in this endless maze. Great. I think he must have written all this. Because at least I could write better than that. Could I? I don't know. I wonder if he's still out there somewhere. I wonder what he's up to these days. Pac-Man ripoff. You don't even need to collect all the pills. Just bloody eat the ghosts and you win. Now you have a choice. Do you want to save the Dark Magician? Or the Blue-Eyes White Dragon? Let's do both, shall we? Yay, the Dark Magician won. Did you see that ladder climbing animation? Shoot the gems. I don't know why the Dark Magician turned into some kind of evil jester clown bob floating on fire that doesn't animate. But there you go. Now you know. Don't save magicians. He's dead now. Congratulations, you have de defeated the Dark Chaos Mage and saved the world from evil. Now sit back, relax, and watch the credits. <coughs> Oh, I'll see you back at, um, will I? I don't know, let's just get there again quickly. This is like the only game that you have to play through twice, I think, to get a different ending. It's a very short game, luckily, so let's just do it quickly. You can shoot as fast as you can press the button sometimes. There you go. Uh, wow, you found a secret zone. I wonder what's here. It's not firing as fast anymore, so whatever, there we go. Right, we're almost there, don't worry. Don't worry, these are Teletubbies by the way, I forgot to mention that before. I was too deep in discussion about the writing skills of whoever did it. Virus bloke, two rip off. Right, we're just about there. Come here. I don't think they even kill you. Whatever, right. Now, why am I suddenly shooting big puff balls? Uh oh. Just sit down here. They should be defeated before they cause any problems. Yeah, there you go. No, you have managed to defeat the ultimate blue eyes white dragon, they rule. Now you will have to wait for the next adventure, the night cyber adventure too. Yeah, you will. Bye. Let's do that right now, shall we? Don't worry, that's not racism, it's a jester wearing a mask or whatever jesters do. Because you can see the rest of his body. Night Cyberspace Adventure 2. The sequel, made with the same friend in the same place immediately after the first game. Also, for an extra bit of random information, the original The Geezer Adventure Episode 1 was also made while I was there. One of my favourite solo creations. Yeah. Oh no, he's got the princess or whoever that is. Whoa! What led to this? 
Where's the story? Uh, 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 uh. The Endless Struggle. There's a lot more gimmicks in this game. Here we've got limited arrows to shoot the targets. There we go. Boss time. It's King Triton. Or something. Ow! He zapped my head with his Triton. As in staff. Do you die if you touch him? Yeah. Some bosses you don't, and it just makes them trivial. He's dead now. You can't even... The walls don't block you. You can just go wherever. Alright, move mouse. It's one of these games where you have to move along the wire, but you can skip some bits. As long as the head is overlapping a grey bit at all times, you're fine. There you go. Good level. No. Boss time! Just stand still and press the attack button. You might have to move to the right a little bit, though. Might take a while, because the rocks get destroyed by these arrows that you can barely see. There you go. Oh no, we have to click on them. Oh no, how are we supposed to... It's alright, you can hit them when they're behind the cups. <sighs> oh no, boss, he doesn't even attack you, so you can just, like... I mean, it kills you if you touch him, if he touches you. But yeah, there you go. Bling! Let's go fight the final boss. Oh no, oh no, it's alright, just sit here. Shoot him in the mouth. He doesn't even hurt you. It's a good game. A lot of effort went into this, I assure you. And there you go, you've beaten the game. Oh, whoa, she's heavy. The end. <coughs> yep. Right. Legend of Rejax. Heavily inspired by Legend of Zelda, this was being made back when I had a partner, the wolf character, who isn't actually seen in this. So I don't know why I needed to put in that in brackets, whatever. I was happy with how this was turning out, but lost the will to continue it, mostly after difficulties preserving game states across areas. And obviously because the relationship ended at a later date, but I stopped working on this long before that. I've been working on a new one though, Dragon Dreams. Oh yes, self-advertising. Mm. Look at that tail animation. This isn't even used in the game. It's one of, one of the best things in here. Hello? Can't hear it. Audio balancing. Oh no, how are we supposed to get anywhere? Well, you have got the inventory and a bunch of stuff, because they weren't implemented in the game properly yet, so they're just there for testing. But you're supposed to come down here and get claws, even though I'm a dragon, so I should have claws anyway. You found claws! Even though you already had natural dragon claws, now you can cut through things, especially enemies. There you go. You can click on those as well to, to change if you really want. Let's use the banana for some reason. Yeah. At least this is more colourful than Dragon Dreams is going to be, because I'm like purposely going for a minimalistic style with Dragon Dreams, but but yeah. Whatevs. No. Dracon, Rejax's part of me lair, keep out. Oh, magic power. Let's use the ring, the best item in the game. Ugh. Also, once again, you're not supposed to be seeing that far, like with Dangerous Dan, just the resolution of this collection. There's probably a way to do it, but the one way that I found out caused things to not work properly. Like objects that were outside of what you could see, sometimes they wouldn't have collision or something. I don't bloody know, it's weird. It's a weird game. I probably should have used a bomb actually for legitness. Oh, there's a chest! The ring drags things back to you, by the way. It's lovely. When it doesn't hit rocks, anyway. Oh, there's a barrier here because the um, screen isn't working properly. Yeah, you can't open the chest, that wasn't programmed. But yeah, the screen transition stuff. Just another effect of that, but that's alright. Oh, cheers for the bomb. And cheers for that bomb, too. 
Whoop. Whoa! You have to be careful when choosing the bombs with the shortcut in this, because normally Q restarts the screen you're on in all of these games, but it doesn't if you're in the menu. So just be careful pressing it if you haven't got the inventory open. Oh! Useless dosh. Let's try the metal claws. They're bigger and slower and do more damage. Oops. There's also a wooden ring, which is the same, but it doesn't, like, destroy stuff. And it bonks off more things. Mount Fat, Mountain Spring, something, something. You can't even go right and down. You can go over here. Yeah, the ring's rubbish. The magic ring is where it's at. It does drag stuff to you, though. So it's got that. Ah, water. Lovely, isn't it? It is. Bum, balloon. Go down here. Don't leave. You can if you want. The resolution is different. Oh yeah, because there's only one screen of this. Meat. Also, watch. Oh no, my health. Oh no. More emphasis on the belly size thing, oh dear. It gets bigger and smaller depending on how much health you have. How very, very silly. Bling! Oi, where's my star? There it is. Let's get out of here. There you go. Good stuff. You can tell the quality improvements in later years. Right, we're out of time actually, I just realised. Well, that went quick. Because it's a weird game, took it all up. Thanks for watching, part 3. See you tomorrow for more. We're almost halfway. In fact, I guess we are. Yeah, we're exactly halfway, are we? No, we're not. Anyway, thanks for watching. Bye.